Insects are super common and come in all sorts of types. You can find them everywhere like forests, deserts, and even our homes. They're key players in nature. They help plants by carrying pollen and keep things tidy by eating stuff that's dead. In this video, we will talk about different types of insects, their lifestyles and growth, their roles in nature, and why it's crucial to protect them to keep nature in good shape and balanced. Before we continue, please consider subscribing to explore wildlife. The classification of insects. Insects are diverse, and to make sense of them, scientists group them based on their features. Beetles, or coleoptera, are everywhere, known for their tough wings and strong jaws, coming in many sizes and colors. Butterflies and moths, part of Lepidoptera, dazzle with large, vibrant wings. Butterflies enjoy the daylight, while moths prefer the night, both starting life as caterpillars. Hymenoptera, which includes bees, wasps, and ants, are social creatures. Bees are vital for pollination. Wasps can sting and ants impress with their strength and teamwork. Flies, or diptera, have a single pair of wings and are ace flyers, some being pesky biters, but also helping in cleaning up. Grasshoppers and crickets belong to orthoptera, recognized for their jumping legs and the music they make by rubbing their wings or legs, with grasshoppers known to munch on lots of plants and crickets for their chirping. Lastly, true bugs, or hemiptera, have unique mouths for sipping juice from plants or other insects, with some, like stink bugs, able to produce a scent as a defense. The anatomy of an insect. Insects have unique body structures with several key parts. They wear their skeleton on the outside, known as an exoskeleton, acting like armor while also preventing dehydration. Their bodies are divided into three sections, the head for eating and sensing, the thorax, or chest, for getting around, and the abdomen, or belly, housing vital internal organs. Insects also have jointed legs, similar to our knees and elbows, mostly having six legs adept at various actions like walking, jumping, or digging. Many have wings, either two or four, aiding in swift movement, dodging threats, and finding food. Their antennae act as sensory tools on their heads, used for feeling and smelling their surroundings, crucial for locating food and navigation. Lastly, their compound eyes, composed of numerous tiny lenses, are excellent at detecting movement, keeping them alert to approaching threats or opportunities. Life cycle of an insect. Insects have a fascinating growth process known as their life cycle, featuring metamorphosis, a dramatic transformation for many of them. It kicks off with the egg stage, where the journey begins in a safe spot chosen by the mother, ensuring the soon to hatch larvae have immediate access to food. Next comes the larva stage, think caterpillars for butterflies, where the primary focus is on eating and growing, looking quite different from their adult forms. Then, the larva evolves into a pupa, entering a sort of transformation cocoon where it's out of sight, developing crucial features like wings and legs, a process termed metamorphosis. Finally, the adult emerges, now equipped with wings for those that fly, ready to find food, dodge dangers, and meet mates to restart the cycle with new eggs. However, this sequence isn't universal. Some insects, like grasshoppers, skip the pupa phase, gradually maturing into adults through what's called incomplete metamorphosis. Habitats of insects. Insects are incredibly adaptable, thriving in a variety of habitats, each with its own climate, flora, and fauna. In forests, teeming with trees and plants, insects like butterflies and beetles use the cover of leaves and bark to conceal themselves and find abundant food sources. Deserts, despite their aridity, host certain beetles and ants that have specialized techniques for locating water and maintaining cool temperatures. Grasslands, characterized by their tall grasses and sparse trees, are home to grasshoppers and certain bees, which use their ability to jump and fly to navigate and forage. Wetlands, rich in water sources like swamps and marshes, attract insects such as mosquitoes and dragonflies. 
which often lay their eggs in water, allowing their larva to swim. Even urban areas, densely populated by humans, harbor insects like ants and cockroaches, who excel at scavenging food and sneaking into tiny spaces. These insects adapt through various means, such as altering their color for camouflage or varying their diet based on available resources. Remarkably, some insects are equipped to endure extreme temperatures or unusual moisture levels, showcasing their diverse adaptability across habitats. Role of insects in the ecosystem. Insects play pivotal roles in ecosystems, essentially acting as the gears in a vast machine made up of living creatures and their environments. They're crucial for pollination, where insects like bees, butterflies, and certain beetles transport pollen between flowers while sipping nectar, aiding in plant reproduction and food production. As decomposers, insects like beetles and worms break down dead matter, recycling it into nutrient-rich soil, essentially nature's cleanup crew. In the food web, insects are fundamental, serving as prey for animals like birds, frogs, and fish, ensuring these predators have enough to eat. They also keep each other in check by preying on different insect species, maintaining a balance in their populations. Without insects, ecosystems would face dire consequences, from unpollinated plants and accumulated waste to disrupted food chains. Insects and humans Insects and humans have a complex relationship with interactions that can be beneficial or problematic. In agriculture, insects are double-edged swords. Bees and others are critical for pollinating crops and boosting fruit and vegetable yields. But crop-eating insects pose threats to farmers, prompting them to adopt protective measures. Health-wise, insects can be carriers of diseases. Mosquitoes, for instance, are infamous for spreading illnesses like malaria and Zika virus, leading to efforts in mosquito control for public health safety. Culturally, insects hold diverse significance. They inspire stories, art, and festivals, symbolizing concepts like transformation or representing a source of nutrition, given their high nutrient content in some cultures. Defense mechanisms of insects. Insects have some clever tricks up their sleeves for self-defense against predators. Camouflage lets them merge visually with their surroundings. Think of a stick insect perfectly mimicking a twig, becoming nearly invisible to birds. Then there's mimicry, where an insect resembles something more menacing or unappetizing, like butterflies whose wing patterns imitate larger animal eyes, deterring potential threats. Warning colors are nature's caution signs. Insects like ladybugs and certain caterpillars sport vivid hues signaling, I might be poisonous or I just taste awful to would-be predators. On the chemical front, some insects are their own mini chemical labs, producing substances that smell or taste foul to enemies, like stink bugs emitting their signature repellent scent or caterpillars concocting internal toxins. Lastly, playing dead is another dramatic tactic. Insects like some beetles will suddenly become motionless and flop over, convincing predators they're not a viable meal. Feeding habits of insects. Insects have diverse diets, each with unique methods of sourcing and consuming food. Herbivores among them, like caterpillars and aphids, munch on plants, equipped with mouthparts tailored for chewing leaves or sipping plant sap. Carnivores in the insect world, such as praying mantises and ladybugs, boast strong jaws for capturing and devouring other insects or small creatures. Scavenger insects, including certain flies and beetles, clean up the ecosystem by consuming dead plants and animals. Nectar feeders like bees and butterflies gracefully extract nectar from flowers using their proboscis, a straw-like mouthpart, to drink up this sweet liquid. Lastly, some insects, notably mosquitoes, have evolved to feed on blood, employing specialized mouthparts to pierce skin and access this nutrient-rich fluid. Conservation of insects. Insects are crucial, but are in trouble due to human activities and environmental changes. 
Their habitats are being lost to urbanization and agriculture, leaving them without proper homes. Pollution, particularly from pesticides, not only targets pests but also harms beneficial insects like bees and butterflies. Climate change is altering weather patterns, affecting insects' life cycles and food availability. Invasive species introduce new competition, often overwhelming native insect populations. Protecting insects is vital due to their roles in pollination and decomposition and as a food source in the ecosystem. Efforts include setting up protected areas, reducing chemical usage, planting insect-friendly gardens, and promoting awareness and education about the importance of insects and their preservation. Subscribe if you liked the video, and there's another one showing on the screen.